Posted 1009-2017-034029, PMMDT updated 10,092,0073-4129, PMMDT Frederick Pitcher McKenna Goodard picked up wins against Windsor and Holy Family to help the Warriors secure the number 8 seed in the upcoming Class 4A regional playoffs. Jeremy Papasso, staff photographer regularly one of the top softball programs in the state, the Frederick Warriors know the drill when it comes to navigating a postseason schedule and the value of playing at home in the regional round. Their desire to host a regional tournament showed in the way the Warriors finished out the 2017 regular season. Behind two strong outings from starting pitcher McKenna Goodard and some timely hitting, the Warriors 136 routed Windsor 109 and won their season finally against number 2 ranked Holy Family 144 to move up to 8th in the final RPI ratings percentage index standings and lock up the final host slot. On Saturday at 10 a.m., the Warriors will kick off the postseason in Region 2 against Pueblo East 910, and they'll do it on their own field. Also hosting a 4A regional, the Erie Tigers 145 will play at home for the Region 3 tournament as the fifth overall seed. They'll kick off the postseason against number 28 George Washington 135 at 10 a.m. on Saturday. I think it's awesome how many Tri-Valley teams are in the playoffs, Erie head coach Harold Simmons said. Over the years, I think our conference has been really strong so having as many teams in as we do is deserving. We all play a really strong out-of-conference schedule, too. As far as us hosting, we love playing at Erie High and we've enjoyed hosting there the last three years. It's a good atmosphere, I think. Despite coming into the playoffs as the number two team in the Sunow.com rankings, the Holy Family Tigers finished the regular season 12th in the 4A RPI standings and will not host a regional tournament. Instead, they'll head to Erie to take on number 21 Wheat Ridge 910 in the first round and could potentially face Erie in a Tri-Valley League rematch in the regional title game. With seven of the eight Tri-Valley League teams qualifying for the regional round, number 27 Mead 109 will travel to face host number 6 Pueblo Central 154 in the first round of the Region 6 tournament. Number 18 Silver Creek 1441 will also head down to Pueblo to take on number 15 Mullen 127 at Pueblo West. Number 26 Longmont 118 will travel to face host number 7 Thomas Jefferson 172 in the Region 7 opener. In 5A, reigning runner-up Broomfield 136 claimed the number 12 seed and will play number 21 Cherry Creek 910 at Prairie View on Saturday. With the number 4 seed, Legacy 163 will host Chatfield 910 in the first round on Saturday. In 3A, Lions 613 enters the regional round as the number 20 seed it will play Delta 118 at Lamar on Saturday. Class 5A Region 3, at Brighton Youth Sports Complex 12 Broomfield 136 vs 21 Cherry Creek 910, Saturday, 10 a.m. Region 4, at Legacy HS4 Legacy 163 vs 29 Chatfield 910, Saturday, 10 a.m. Class 4A Region 2, at Frederick HS8 Frederick 136 vs 25 Pueblo East 910, Saturday, 10 a.m. Region 3, at Erie HS5 Erie 145 vs 28 George Washington 135, Saturday, 10 a.m. 12 Holy Family 144 vs 21 Wheat Ridge 910, Saturday, 10 a.m. Region 6, at Pueblo Central HS 27 Mead 109 vs 6 Pueblo Central 154, Saturday, 10 a.m. Region 7, at Thomas Jefferson HS 26 Longmont. 118 vs. 7 Thomas Jefferson, 172, Saturday, 10 a.m. Region 8, at Lovell Park and Pueblo 18 Silver Creek 1441 vs. 15 Mullen 127, Saturday, 10 a.m. Class 3A Region 4, at Lamar HS 20 Lions 613 vs. 13 Delta 118, Saturday, 10 a.m. Brad Kochi Kuchib at DailyCamera.com or Twitter.com Brad Kochi Longmont's Grace Morrow, Left, and Katrina Sabal and the Trojans are headed to Class 4A Region 7 Tournament against host Thomas Jefferson Saturday. Matthew Jonas, Stat Photographer